guys and welcome back to another YouTube video. I'm Kerry. I'm Anna. And together we are Krana. Krana. <laughs> Sorry we haven't posted in a while. Yeah, our um, speaker on our phone has been broken. It works on TikTok, but it doesn't work when we record normally. So we had to buy a speaker that plugs into our phone for us to be able to do YouTube's. <laughs> Microphone. <laughs> oh yeah. Is it good? I don't know if you can hear that because we can't hear it. If sorry. It, if you can and you're wearing headphones, we are very, very sorry. R.I.P. headphone users. <laughs> <laughs> right, so today's YouTube video, if you haven't read it already, Ghost Story. Ghost Story, yeah. True. And, yeah, it's real Ghost life. Ghost Story. And um, it, it centres around Bunny when he was two years old, almost two. He's 15 now. Yeah. So this is like... 13 years ago, but I'll never forget it. No, it's one of them things you just don't forget. Yeah. Ever. Too scary. <laughs> don't even like talking about it. I don't go near the house. I don't like driving by it. The house is in Monksfield, by the way. In Woodhouse? Woodhouse, <laughs> yes. Leeming Lane, south, I think. I don't know how you remember addresses. I never remember address. You know where the chippy used to be? I think it's changed to Domino's, I'm not sure, but somewhere near there. Uh, yeah. It is a Domino's now. Is it? Yeah. Yeah, near there. Like, yeah. <laughs> it's freaky, guys. But anyway, so <coughs> basically, when he was about two, or he might have been just before two, we just moved into this new house, Downward House. Um, we'd been there quite a few months, like, my brother was stopping a lot because he was helping us because lots to do in a new house yeah pretty much so um yeah we'd been there like a few months before anything actually started and then one night i was sitting on the sofa in the living room when he had gone to bed he's he's um nearly two at this point so he's he went to bed i think it was about maybe six seven he was in a good routine um and then bunny was saying um Oh no, please, I don't like it, you're hurting me. Please stop, please stop. And he just kept repeating it. So I went to the bottom of the stairs and I said, Bunny, do you want to come downstairs? Do you want to come watch TV for a bit? No, I want to stay in bed, I'm tired. This At is this what point, I, got. I was thinking like it was more that he just didn't want to go to bed. Like, yeah, he wanted to get up. But when he was deciding not to get out of bed and wanting to stay in bed because he was tired, that's when it started to kick in that something wasn't right. <laughs> Freaky. Yeah, so went upstairs, obviously, to check on him. Nobody in the room, obviously, just him. Um, and I'm like, are you sure you don't want to come downstairs? No, I'm tired. Do you want to sleep in my bed? No, I like my bed. Okay. Then I'd go back downstairs, and then it'd start again. No, please, I don't like it. No, you're hurting me. I don't like it. Stop it. No, no, I don't want to do this. No, I don't want to do that. Um, this happened for like about three nights before I decided to ring my mum. I rang my mum and obviously um, I, I went to the bottom of the stairs because you, you could clearly hear him. And I held the phone so she could hear him. And then she, she was like, well, Go and ask him if he wants to come downstairs or if he wants to sleep in your bed. I said, I've already done that, he don't want to. He's, and then mum's like, I don't know what you're going to do, I don't know what to do. So she don't know what to do either. She couldn't bring Brian, which is Kerry's brother, brother, down at the time because it was like 10, 11 o'clock at night. <laughs> he was staying up to doing this, yeah. Um, he started having dreams as well. Um, about this hand, he still remembers it now and he's 15 yeah. now. Um, and these dreams with this hand, they would try and get him. It would try and tickle him. Yeah. But this hand, it was really creepy. I had like a bone sticking out the it end of like, it. It was just like, say, that's your hand. It was like to about here and the bone was out of it. Yeah. So like it's been cut off, but there's still a bone. And like, like that. Th that's the way he him. explains it. It was like that. He still, yeah. he still remembers now and he still knows, like, yeah, it was a real hand. He says, yeah. Mom, it was a real hand. I went making it up, I went dreaming it, and it used to tickle, tickle me. And he still remembers it now. Yeah. He, used to, he used to wake up crying, screaming, red hot because of this hand. This hand, he hated this hand. He really hated it. 
Um, he did have an invisible friend. La La Lang. La Langi. Yep. Yeah, he called it. It was his name was La Langi. I mean, what child thinks of a name like that as in a, like an an imaginary friend? Yeah. You can't make that up, can you? Like, yeah. you honestly, you just can't make it up. No. It's just impossible. Oh yeah, so freaky, honestly. And then um, and then eventually, like later on, um. I started like just stuff moving in the kitchen, um, pots and stuff, and I'd go in the kitchen, nothing would move, but then like as soon as I walked out of it again, stuff would happen. Um, I stopped going in the living room at night time because shadows and everything. Now bearing in mind, the house was up steps. It, like it's not like someone could walk by and create the shadow. No, it was quite high up, it so you had to have like up. steps to go into the actual front door. Yeah, in the garden. So it's not like anybody could create the shadow. Um, and yeah, so I stopped going in the living room just because I was terrified. I had completely had enough. I, like, I was sick of like hearing Bunny, oh, don't hurt me, I don't like it. You know, when you're a mum and you can't do anything, it's horrible. So I decided to switch rooms with him, bedrooms. He was so happy. Like, yeah. honest, unreal amount of happy to be switching rooms. <laughs> I was so scared, but you know, you know, you have to do it, don't you, yeah. when it's your kiddos. So yeah, um, I spent all day sorting a room out, um, got him in, got him into my room. I took his room, um, everything's fine. When I went to bed, I was obviously scared and a bit freaked out. I just like hid under the quilt. <laughs> if, I, if I can't see it, it can't see me. Exactly, that was, that was my thing. Um, and then I woke up the next morning, like I heard some dripping, but I didn't see anything whatsoever. I walked out of the bedroom and literally I was on the stairs. I literally gone a few steps downstairs. I heard a massive bang. I went running back upstairs to see what it was and thinking, oh no, I've like, I've annoyed something. Uh oh. Yeah, that's it. Um, it's angry now. <laughs> yeah. So, um, yeah, I went back upstairs to see what it was. The whole ceiling had caved in. Not just like a little bit, you know, where water would be. Literally, from the whole edge of the ceiling, collapsed. Like it's been cut round. Yeah, like. like even that doesn't like, happen. <laughs> Even when we got people in to look at it and everything, they were so shocked because it weren't just like like a big part of the ceiling. It was literally the edge at the, the whole wall, ceiling. The whole ceiling. It was weird. And obviously water everywhere, all over the TV, everything. Um, yeah. So everything did get ruined. And after that, you was like, I can't do this anymore. Like, Mom, I can't, I can't. see it. I'm too scared. I don't like it. No way. So. You left. Me and Bunny, yeah, moved into my mum's for a bit um, to find another house because we was not going back in that house. That was the last straw. Like, no, I can't do it no more. There's only so much you can take off things though, isn't there? Like, yeah, God. But we've had it in this house. Yeah. Um, when I was in the bedroom upstairs, um, my mum's friend had not long passed away um, from cancer and she was one of her best friends. Um, and it, it went wrong after that. I think it was in the within the first week after the funeral. Um, and I was laid on the bed, stressed, and I felt a palm on my leg. Yeah. And it literally felt like a palm. And like, I was a bit scared, but at the same time, it was weird. It was like, I wasn't You're like, scared. Yeah, you didn't need to be scared because I couldn't explain yeah. it even. It was like calming. Do you know what I mean? It was really weird, honestly. And then we've got, we actually do have a video of this. Um, Bunny, it was late at night. No one was up. Literally, everyone was ready. It was stupid o'clock in the morning, like three o'clock in the morning, which when he shouldn't have been up. Was recording on his phone. All his he, mates he, was he, was, um, he was he was um, swearing on his phone. Right. So this is why we cannot post the video and show it you because he was bored. Yeah. So he was just so he did. About. He did say a swear word and shout it to his phone. And then all you hear in the background is, "Hello." Yeah. And we're like, it's oh, a female's voice. Yeah. We, we was asleep at this point. He Everyone was asleep. The next morning, yeah. The kids was asleep. We can tell it's not the kids anyway with yeah. the voice. Um, 
spot. Oh my god, yeah. Someone said hello to him. Yeah. And he got it on camera. And so. then we've had it where we were going to go into the loft and Kerry was about to stand on this chair and the chair just went. Moved, yeah. Yeah. We was like, okay, no one wants you to stand on that chair. <laughs> so yeah, we've had a, a few like paranormal. But we do have a ghost cat as well. We do see that very often. Yeah, like, you know when you feel a cat brush up, yeah, or... Lay, like, on, lay next to you on the bed. Yeah, or like, we, we, we walked into one of the kids' bedrooms one time, we saw a cat go behind the door, just like in the corner of your eye, so we checked behind the door and it's like... Because we thought it would be one of our cats, cats do you know yeah. what I mean? Like, because we've got cats. Yeah, and since Orchard, Orchard passed away, our cat, TikTok, our other cat, like, him and Orchard was really close. Very close. <coughs> she, was, he, she was his mum. Yeah, she he, he meowed for, for ages after she passed away. He was actually in the hallway, meowing. But looking at nothing. Like, the, Bunny yeah. was showing, like FaceTimed us and showing us because he wasn't sure why TikTok was doing it. And there was literally nothing there. He was just laid there, meowing. Like, okay, <laughs> have a nice conversation. <laughs> mm, yeah. It was really yeah. weird. So, yeah. Some little weird bits happened in this house, but... Nothing major or... Yeah, nothing as bad as la like yeah. that. Yeah. So, whatever's in this house isn't... horrible or... trying to hurt us or scare us or anything. <laughs> what about my dreams? Apart from her dreams, yeah. She wakes up in, in the night. She, she doesn't even remember doing this. There's a ghost at the door. There's a ghost at the door. No, there isn't, baby. Yes, there is. There's a ghost at the door. No, baby, there really isn't. There's a ghost at the door. Okay, baby, there's a ghost at the door. <laughs> but there's no ghost at the door. But apparently there is. But they're That's the weird dreams weird. that she has. She has them quite often where she comes out and says it. And I don't know whether it's like the ghost trying to communicate with her through her sleep or whether she's just watched something and thought about it. <laughs> We but then I don't know. I know we haven't watched horror movies in ages, so I just don't know. Like, to me, it would be like maybe it's trying to communicate with you. But I'm into all that sort of stuff, so you know, you may not believe this and you may believe it. It's just your choice to believe or not. But that is a real life like ghost story, guys. Like, it really did happen 100%. And yeah, it happened with Bonnie, so. So let us know in the comments down below if you believe it or not. Mm. Oh, and let us know your ghost stories. Like, oh, real yeah. life ones though, guys, please. We don't want any made up stuff. We want yeah. like, let us know your real life ghost stories. That would be amazing. Stuff, yeah. But thank you for watching this video. We really hope you enjoyed it. <laughs> yeah, so make sure you hit that like button. Subscribe if you want to. And obviously comment your ghost stories. And if you think it's true or false. Well, if you believe in ghosts or you don't. Real life ones though, guys, yeah. Yeah. yeah, and we will be posting every Wednesday now, hopefully. Um, 7 p.m. 7 p.m. So, we're back. We're here. <laughs> we're <laughs> but we've got some good way. content coming up, so make sure you are subscribing and sticking around, because oh. put post notifications on as well. Freeze-dried candy. And we're looking to get a palette of Amazon returns and stuff like that. Or random open. stuff. Or random yeah. stuff. Whatever we can find. Whatever we can find, so that should be fun too. Yes, and we might do another surprise Colin fans video. And also... A Q&A um, as well, I think that would be good. Yeah, Q&A. Yeah. 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 So we have got a lot planned. <laughs> Bye for now, guys. Bye. Peace out. Get one switch off. <laughs>